You're a mean one, Mr. Crowley. Shit, you're terrifying. <sighs> oh, holy nuggets of fuck. Hello, true crimers. <clears throat> this is the case of Mr. Cruel. Viewer discretion is advised. This is a case that took place in Melbourne in Victoria, which is in Australia, and it is not pleasant. On August 22nd, 1987, around 4 o'clock in the morning, an unknown assailant would break into a home. Wielding a knife, he would tie the parents up and force them to go into a closet. There was a young boy there that he also tied up, but he tied him to a bed. And there was an 11-year-old girl. She was his primary target. He would put the knife to her throat and he would sexually assault her. And then he just left. December 27th, 1988. A man wearing a black face mask with a knife and now a gun broke into the house of Erin Willis and her family around five to six in the morning. He tied up the parents robbed them of whatever money they had on them. He then tied up the 10-year-old girl, Aaron Willis, and put a gag in her mouth. And this time, he took her. And for 18 hours, in a room that looked kind of like this, he would sexually assault her. After 18 hours, he just released her. He let her go. July 3rd, 1990, he broke into the home of Nicola Blinus. This time, he did it at night, around 11 o'clock. He cut the phone lines from their house, bound her, gagged her, and then took her. He brought her back to his little house, where for about 50 hours, 5-0, he would repeatedly sexually assault her. Now, these two victims were able to give a pretty good description of the room. They said that this man recorded them with a video camera. He also took pictures. And police believe if he's still alive, he probably still has these photos and videos. Because, you know, he's a creep. He would give the girls baths. He, like, took care of them. On April 13th, 1991, 13-year-old Carmaine Chan was also abducted. But she wasn't released. One year later, they would find the remains of this 13-year-old girl. She was shot three times in the head. Police aren't positive that the murdered girl is a part of Mr. Cruel's disgusting crime spree, but it's pretty likely she was. He's never been caught. They said he was between the ages of 30 and 50, but unfortunately, this is still unsolved.